Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG, and today we've got a 10 pack of Ikoria to get into because of reasons. And those reasons are I need to make some content, and I also am looking for triumphs for myself. So let's do this. Get into it. Um, down the side opener there, we got a shark token. So there are probably some good cards out of here that I'd like to get for my collection. Try to play a little bit more. Shark token would be nice. Wynota, joiner of forces, would be also nice. Uh, yeah, legendary creature, human warrior. Um, you can use it to find other humans, I believe, right? So we'll be scanning that up. It's $4. It's a good first hit. We've got a smasher, a charge of the forever beast, and a sprite dragon for the uncommons. And some... Comments. I actually need to check real quick to see like what are the good comments and uncommons in here. Alright, I took a look and I actually need to back up. This Sprite Dragon is actually one of the decent cards that I'll be looking for. So, scan that one up as well. It's a buck and some change. There we go. Moving on. Soldier. Blossoming Sands. A Foil Mountain. That's nice. And a Colossification Enchant Creature, you give it 2020 for a mere 7 mana. Uh, imagine that one is kind of hard to pull off and especially keep on the battlefield. Doesn't give you any kind of protection, right? Mystic Subduel, a Leosaur, got some Mutate stuff going on here. A Wild Bonder there. And there were not really any commons that we'll be looking for, so we'll just kind of go through quickly. Look at the Showcase version and move on. All right, give me some triumphs. Got a Narset emblem here. I'll check that just in case. Emblems usually not very much, but um, they're keepable. Got a Jungle Hollow and a General Kudro. So we got a couple of mythics here at least. Of Dranith. Uh, he's a legendary. Other humans you control get 1 1. Whenever he or another human enters the battlefield under your control, exile target card from his opponent's graveyard. Sacrifice two humans, destroy target creature power four or greater. Not bad, not bad. And he's been reprint reprinted already on the list. Exactly what the list should be used for is to reprint cards that are one year old or so. But I digress. Heed Bonder. Connection. I do love the flavor of this set. The monster. Uh, be I'm sorry, more like a beast. Um, plane is pretty cool. And the showcases are fun too. We got a beast token, uh, a mountain, back for more as a foil, and Zerta the Dawn Waker, the companion mechanic here. Each permanent card in your starting deck has an activated ability if you want to use it as a companion. And the ability that it has is abilities you activate that aren't mana abilities cost two less to activate. This effect can't reduce the mana cost less than one. You can tap it to target creature can't block this turn. So, buck ninety six for the promo pack version. The regular buck fifty seven. So it's okay. Wingspan Manor, Monstrous Step, Boneyard Lurker, the Fangs, the Great Horn, the Dead Eye, and a Vulpecki. That's pretty cool. All right, here we go. No table required. We got a forest escape protocol. Kahira the Orphan Guard. The companion condition each creature card in your starting deck is a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, beast card. So there's some tribal synergy that you could use there. Vigilance, each other creature you control that is one of those gets one one has vigilance. So not super in demand, I imagine. But it's a little bit. Buck 41, a rooting Moloch. Necro Panther, awesome. Frill Scare Mentor, a Spell Eater Wolverine, that's cool. Goriak, Facet Reader, Blood Curdle, Bushmeat Poacher, and a Dranus Stinger. There we go, moving on. Just blast it out of there. Highlands, oh, I got a Showcase Triumph. There we go, this is what I was after right here. So, alternate art. Um, extended border, whatever you want to call this. 
the Zagoth Triome. Um, Swamp Forest Island, so it can be fetched. Enters the battlefield tapped, but it's a tr it's a triple mana land, and it's got cycling, so very good. I think these are going to be in demand for until the next time they print them, probably. And the other versions, showcase version fourteen seventy nine. So there we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. Got Easy Prey, Pouncing Shore Shark, and Savai Thundermane, Whisper Squad. They look like moth dudes. Fertilid, a Chris Station. Primer Sergeant, Capture Sphere, and a Cloud Piercer. All right, so we get another trial. Can we be that lucky? Beast Island, Yadara, the Wandering Monster. Trample, Haste, an 8 8. When you cycle it, shuffle into your library from a graveyard. If you cycled one of these before, four or more times this game, put it onto the battlefield from your graveyard instead. No. No, no one's using this, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Sanctuary Lockdown, Horn Bash Mentor, Primal Empathy, Humble Naturalist, a Vantasaur, and a Whisperer. Okay. I'm getting a bunch of companions here. I need a Luris. That would be great. Human Soldier, Blossoming Sands, Dranith Magistrate. For one and a white, your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hand, so that shuts down a lot of like shenanigans from older f formats. 715, so it's definitely in demand for other formats. Uh, Barrier Breach, Bastion of Remembrance is one that I'll be scanning here. Good, uncommon, three bucks there. A Hemophage in the Evolving Wilds. Dead weight, mutual destruction. So for me personally, I'm actually going to pull this dead weight because I got a deck that it's going to go into. And then we're going to open this other pack. Soldier, Tranquil Cove, Frondland Felidar. For two and a green and a white. It's a cat beast with vigilance. Creatures you control vigilance have pay one to tap it to tap target creature. I don't see it being a big one there. I was right. Duskfang Mentor. Swallow Hole. Flame Spill. Spontaneous Flight. And some other stuff. All right, last pack. Here we go. Come on. Open it up. It's another Shark Token. A Shark Typhoon would be okay right now. Uh, Windscarred Crag. And a foil gem razor, so that's pretty decent, I think. Uh, it's a rare. It's got mutate, reach, trample. When this creature mutates, destroy target artifact or enchantment and opponent controls. I think. I mean, if you're gonna play a mutate deck, you would play this card, right? And then we got a Gigantha the Wellspring. Let's see if the scanner will see this foil card. It doesn't like it. It thinks it's a point. All right. So the gem razor. I don't think it's a whole lot, but I mean, it's a foil. Let me. Trying to get it scanned here. It just won't do it. Alright. Gigantha the Wellspring. We'll scan that one. It's a buck. It's got companion with no card in your starting deck. It has more than one of the same mana symbol in its mana cost. If, wait, what? It has no card in your starting deck. It has more than one of the same mana symbol in its mana cost. Oh. So you could never do... Like two green, I think I see what that is. So it's gonna encourage a five color deck basically. So it's a buck or so. The crystal, the swallow hole, the frill scare mentor, and then I will key in the gem razor and see how that goes. May not be worth a whole lot. Gem razor, the regular is sixty seven cents. The foil is a whopping. 99 cents so there it is so that was my Ikoria packs I did get a trial that I was looking for so there we go thanks for watching as always comment down below subscribe do the YouTube stuff see you later